Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Sunday, August 3rd. My name is Angela. And my name is Chris. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. It is a social experience because I don't look at you. I look at the chat which I have here on my iPad. Oh, good, because I've got that full screen on my screen. Where? <laughs> Where? I'm just changing it up. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> It's over to our monitor where we can see ourselves. Oh, Ange, by it's the way, it doesn't too. matter. It's built into the best <laughs> lower third on the internet. Go over to jblive.tv every single Sunday when we are rocking the faux show live just after the Linux Action Show. And you can also participate in our lower third where we have encapsulated the best people on the internet. There they are. Yep. I see a double D down there. It says, doesn't matter, Ange. It's also in the best lower third. Hey there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You get me, bro. You and I, we're on the same page. Yep. Ange. Really, I'm really excited about today's episode. Yeah. What is It is so episode? cool. So we want to know how you watch Jupiter Broadcasting. What, what? Now, or how you watch or listen to, because okay. obviously there are people that yeah. are audio only, but yeah. uh, you know what? If you're watching the show, you're probably watching it. Um, I know. Wherever you go, there you are. Recursive so. is recursive. <laughs> How I roll. <laughs> okay. All right, Angela. Our first <laughs> award goes to. We have our first award, and these are in order of submission. Okay. Sparrow, at the very first, like, he was still watching Wait, the hold faux on. show. Sparrow. Uh, goat herder. I believe you're talking about goat herder. Yeah. Same. Both. Either. Okay. Yeah. Um. So uh, he gets the most comfiest place most award. Most comfiest place award. So he literally, while during our last award show, took a genius. Took a, yeah. Took a picture of. His setup, so he said, boy, that was easy. We watched the faux show laying in bed. We have a 32-inch TV up on the wall near the ceiling. I have an AMD computer on a custom-built stand that has a monitor that swings over the bed. Yes. Here's my view of everything as I'm laying and watching. Okay. Now, have you noticed there's been a trend over, say, the last 20 episodes or so where every time something comes up, Goat Herder is always doing it the best? Like, <laughs> right? Yeah, or Count Zero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of those two, yes. That's awesome. That's yes. great. Yes, <laughs> Nicely done, sir. All right, Angela, next award goes to? Joe. Now, uh, there were a lot of first-time submitters, and uh, it's because I was on um, Tech Talk today, and so I think we got some non fo show crowds. So if you didn't include your IRC, Nick, I just went by your first name only. So I can handle that. There's a couple Mikes. There's a Paul. There's a Joe, you know. <laughs> yeah, I like Just that so actually. You know. It makes it feel more personal. <laughs> go audio. I'm or I already know because I'm an old time radio fan. This is gonna go. This is this is for me. This okay. is for me. Here you go. I listen to audio mostly at work on my IG Tone Two Bluetooth headset or at home on my Chromecast. Nice. Yeah. So there are um, there's our Jupiter Broadcasting app. Uh, it's an, the Android app, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. 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 I no, no it's just I, the website. That's I believe that's the all feeds. Oh like yes, some, yes, yeah. Uh, so which is awesome. First of all, good on you for using the all feeds. Uh, and this is one thing I'm going to be really curious about. So for those of you who are not normally faux show viewers, uh, for these types of shows, I don't get to see it ahead of time. So I'm seeing it the first time with you. I'm really curious if we're going to see more video or more audio in this. All right. Okay. So he's got the audio feed there. That's nice. That's a good setup. Yep. I like the uh, Android screenshot. Yep. The next award goes to Dutchman. Dutchman. Gets the huge JB supporter. All right, I'm ready. All right. My IRC Nick is Dutchman. Though I don't get on IRC often, my crazy work schedule precludes it mm, most times. Yeah. I watch JB on the computer, don't own a TV anymore. Funny thing, when I took a photo with my phone, I was watching last, uh, watching last live show on MPV. And shortly after, Chris, Chris oh. mentioned it as an app pick. Right, yep. Um, I've been using it for quite some time, Chris. And yeah, if you can get away... Or get with the command line use, yeah. it kicks VLC to the curb. Yeah. Always had trouble with the live feed on VLC. With MPV, it's been S flawless. MPV is smart. And I find the video quality all around is much better. Good. You might recognize the System76 Wild Dog in the lower corner of the desk in the picture. Oh, yeah. Other than the keyboard and speakers, everything was bought in the last year via Jupiter Broadcasting Links. That's awesome. I do what I can to support the shows, just switch jobs, so shortly I'll be a Patreon supporter too. Besides the photo, I also attached two screenshots. I know Chris likes to see what people are using. I'm sure he'll recognize E18. Mm. By the way, if you ever get baller. to where yeah, <laughs> if you ever get to where you need a driver for the JB equipment rig, keep me in mind. I have a CDL with 30 plus years experience over the road. Awesome. Keep up the great works work. So here's uh, one screenshot that he did from yeah, our that, July 6th that summer is a project awards. Great looking desktop. And uh, watching last. <laughs> and there's our interview. That's great. When we were busting some myths. Yep. That's uh, awesome. 
Awesome. And, and good to know we have an equipment driver, too. Yeah, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. we've had a couple people suggest that they could help with that. I'm ready. So that's cool. That means they're ready. My body is ready. We just need the, the truck <laughs> or yeah. the bus the or vehicle. the RV. The and vehicle. all the equipment. <laughs> and the time. Yeah. And the connectivity. Yeah. And the places to go. Yes. But other than that, okay, we are ready. Next award goes to? Paul. <laughs> Paul gets the excellent collection. Check this out. So he has, I don't even know what this is, honestly, but I recognize Linux Gamecast, right? That's Vin... Vin Stone, Vin Stone and uh, Jordan yeah. Chuang yep. and Pedro Mateus. And I see No Agenda and Let's yep. Talk Bitcoin. Let's Talk Bitcoin. But, you know, and Linux Outlaws. Rat Hole all Radio. Of those. Yep. Uh, you know, Linux Unplugged, Tech Talk Today, right Tech on. Snap, Unfilter. Well, this is awesome. And I'm, well, it scrolls up and down. So I'm sure, I'm positive that, that Faux Show is somewhere on there. That is a really, <laughs> really good lineup, minus the Faux Show. A really good lineup of shows. Okay. So he said, I haven't found a program cool enough to sort my podcast, so I made a website that does it for me. I was wondering what that was. Yes. See attached screenshot. No URL because I'm still perfecting it, but please uh, consider putting it on GitHub, GitHub and or contacting Rakai because maybe he knows something that can help like finalize it. Like a Jupiter Broadcasting specific podcasting app that people could j- check out from GitHub website. and set up on yeah. their own. Yeah. Um, that would be awesome. If you're okay with sharing. Um, everything just gets downloaded, and as boring as it sounds, I just listen slash watch all my podcasts through one of my desktop PCs via VLC. Via, blah, 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 no, no, why is that boring at all? VLC player. Um, if I want something mobile, I copy what I want uh, with Sync Thing to my mobile or tablet. Tell Chris, ah. Sync Thing is awesome for personal use on a LAN. I used it to replace BT Sync, or is it BitSync? Uh, BT Sync or whatever. Okay. Um, But as he mentioned before, it's no good for media distribution across the internet. (laughs) Right. That's the thing. Um, I only have one problem with Sync Thing, the UI. It's bright white. It makes my eyes bleed. I will fork T on GitHub. um, And theme it up. (laughs) And make a dark theme (laughs) when I have time to match my dark arch. (laughs) Mwahaha. Peace out. And then PS, PS. it's XFCE. XFCE. Yeah. Nice. Can I see that screenshot one more time? Yes. Uh, so, yeah, the chat room was asking, yeah, that looks like he's tricked out a, uh, a, a conky config there on the uh, right, too, which is pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty nice, sir. Very nice. How done. epic is that, though? I mean, what a great, I mean, just just tiling all the podcasts like that is really cool. <laughs> I know it's really basic, but it's no, really cool. No, it, it is really, it's something I wish, like, Plex would build that in. Mm-hmm. That'd be, like, mandatory, almost. Yeah. All right, Andrews. Next award goes to? Next award goes to, do you want to take a guess? <clears throat> Theory. It's French. Thai. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he Thierry. Had, he uh, actually uh, he suggested not Thierry. to eat. Thierry. Thierry. He he has to. Uh, he suggested we don't even try. Thierry. So. <laughs> Thierry. He gets the podcast plus resort equal win. Wait, what, you're not going to tell me how to say his name? He said, "Don't even try." It's French. Oh, I'd like to know though. Yeah, I know. I wish he would have put it in yeah, phonetically. Okay, yeah, okay. But all right. So he said, "This Thierry must." Thierry's looks familiar. Okay. Um, this must be my favorite place by far to watch the show. Near the pool of an all-inclusive resort in Malacora. Mallorca. There we go. Keep up the good work. I enjoy most shows, especially TechSnap and the Linux Action Show. Greetings from Belgium. I like uh, that he's watching the award show at the beach. That's yeah. great. I know. And it's about right? the summer. It's how perfect well, is I don't that? know if it's at the beach, but it's a resort. Well, it's by the pool. it looks like the beach, yeah. 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 Silly yeah. Americans and their bad French. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. How dare we? How dare we? Next award goes to Behemoth. He's in the chat room right now. For the Epic Office Setup Award. Oh my gosh. You're going to be so jealous of his oh, yeah? office. I'm yes. Ready. Bring it on. Yeah. It's exactly what you want. I, I mean, it, it couldn't be more perfect. Okay. There it is. No, That's a kidding. wall of text. <laughs> All right. Here's my submission for the Faux Show Award Show. <laughs> or Faux Award Show. Yeah. The only shows I can watch live are Last and the Faux Show. Okay. I download the rest of the shows to my phone and listen to them on my commute while in the line at the bank, grocery shopping, etc. I use a Bluetooth earpiece so I can listen in public places and talk on the phone hands-free, of course. Uh, when I watch live, I use my System76 Gazelle Professional to Chromecast the show to my TV. Boom. I took this picture from my comfortable couch during last on 7-20-14. Keep up the good work, Behemoth. I'm ready. That's pretty great. Right? It's like the dark wood. Yeah, and there's a very whole, classy. There's a wall of, of cupboards and like some have glass, some don't. 
And this, uh, like the, well, I he even said like this the was lamp. from his couch too. So that's actually his entertainment center, and that's his coffee table. But yeah, I mean, it's just an epic setup. Yeah, and I, I like the speakers there. The so he's got a sub, good man. But I think um, even though it's not actually his his office, it's his, it's his living room. But um, yeah, a I setup where that- you have the desk facing. A big wall of stuff like that is really cool. That is really cool. Why don't I do that? I know. <laughs> no, I should do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, Andrews. Next award goes to Heath three eight two seven gets the Office JB Addict Award. All right. All right. I listen to Jupiter Broadcasting on my phone. I use Beyond Pod to automatically download all the JB shows. I listen in the car on the way to and from work, as well as on the weekend when I do catalog drops. If there is something I want to see in, uh, in a video version, I email myself the episode number and timestamp to check out uh, when I get home. Uh, I listen to Last Lup, Tech Snap, Cybite, Unfilter, Coda <clears throat> Radio, and of course, Woo! The Faux Show. Boom. Unfortunately, I don't have enough listening time to keep up with Tech Talk today, mm. but do watch some of the ones with interesting subjects at home. Hurts so so deeply. I watch all the how-to Linux shows on my computer at home too. In the attached image, I have my phone and SGS4 with my Bluetooth headset for walking the streets and an FM retransmitter for listening in the car. Very nice. Um, P.S. I only signed up to Reddit to subscribe to Last and TechSnap subreddits. My <laughs> my subscriptions to Unix porn and Conky porn are inconsequential. I'm glad he answered that because I've been wondering. <laughs> so um, so here is him watching. Hey, nice doctor's jacket I have there. <laughs> and that is his audio in Beyond Pod setup. Yep. Beyond Pod's a great one. Yeah. Very nice. Well done, sir. Well done. Thank you for letting us know. Watch all of the shows except for Tech Talk today. It is hard to watch a daily show. Yeah. Just. You know what? Think of Tech Talk today as a beautiful stream of tech news, and you just take a little dip when you can, and Mm -hmm. then you jump out when you can't. We understand. And And always join the ones that Angela's on. And it's something that you can support. Oh, that's very true. (laughs) You could over at (laughs) patreon.com slash today. (laughs) Patreon.com slash today. Not only keep Tech Talk today going, (laughs) but if maybe you're not a Tech Talk today viewer, and you just want to support the Jupiter Broadcasting Network, you want to pledge a little money to us every single month to invest in us, to help us expand, grow, hire contractors, buy gear, go on trips, those kinds of things as they come up. Patreon.com slash today. This is a way to invest in the Jupiter Broadcasting Network on a monthly basis. Now, I actually haven't told you about this, (laughs) Angie. What? (laughs) uh, (laughs) So you see I have these two top levels here on the recommended, so built-in place levels. He acts like I don't watch his shows. Well, I just never know because you're busy. You you want them to have input on new content. So on the upper pledge (laughs) levels. Yeah. Uh, when it when it when it is a props and when it and it might happen a couple times a year it might happen thirty times a year uh, when there's an idea something the network is thinking about doing and wants to sort of get your input and sort of get more outsiders input and people who are really passionate about our shows people who really care we're going to consult the people in these pledge levels uh, Patreon's platform allows us to address people specifically at certain pledge levels and so if that is something that from time to time you might want to take part in no mm-hmm. obligation on your part. But if it is something that you would want to have input on, you can be part of that by joining those pledge levels. And it'll happen a couple of times a year. Yeah, that's cool. And it's, yeah, so it might mean an extra email, you know. Yeah, you'd, you'd, see it, you'd show up in your email or you'd check the activity feed and you'd see it. Yeah. Uh, but even if that's not something that interests you, any pledge level you can uh, you can afford. I have in there by default $3, but more or less helps over at patreon.com slash today. And from time to time, I post exclusive videos over there for our patrons and stuff like that too. So there's some nice perks to being a patron. So if you've been on Amazon or PayPal for a while and you have supported us that way and you're like wondering if you should switch, I would probably say yes. It's totally up to you, whatever you're more comfortable using. But there is some perks to being a patron uh, pledger because there are videos from time to time, those exclusive things that do crop up, and the platform allows us to provide certain incentives and perks to our patrons. Uh, and if you haven't checked it out, patreon.com slash today, and thanks to everybody who invests in our network. Yep. And so that was your potty break. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was t- we're on slide 22 of 100. All right. Next okay. award goes to? Count zero. Love your style. Girl. Seriously, you guys, count zero, really? What do we got? A lot of text first. Okay. Most of the time I watch Jupiter Broadcasting at my desk as I can watch the shows and have the IRC open at the same time, sure. which is a must, right? Yeah. Um, this is often the case for shows like Tech Talk Today, Linux Unplugged, and sometimes TechSnap. As you can see, it's the same kind of desk that Li- uh, Linus has. How cool oh. is that? I'm Let's looking see. forward to seeing this. 
Oh, there. messy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my desk. Uh, except that I fitted storage cabinets underneath along with the custom built 13U rack that holds the main computer and a bunch of other stuff. My desk is just such a mess most of the time, and I wish I'd empty the waste bin before taking the photo. Yeah. Note the half assembled Google Cardboard on top um, of the monitor. I'll get around to playing with that properly one of these days. Um, some of the shows, like Unfiltered, Sidebite, I always watch the day after they're broadcasted as they're on at like 3 a.m. Yeah. here in the UK. That's that time zone thing. We discovered the faux show somewhere around episode 117, Desktop Awards. Hey, maybe time for another one of those. Yeah, I know, right? Hey, uh, I was just advocating for that. Just saying. And really loved it right away. And it was really cool that Beth enjoyed it, too. Mm. And nowadays, she's a huge fan of the show, and we always watch it together in a couple different ways. As you covered in the last faux show awards, we watched the downloaded episodes in the bath. Um, using our recently yep. installed bathroom TV system, which there's a picture of. Which was amazing. But we usually catch the live show on the main TV in the living room. Their m- living room is amazing. Um, which is a 15-year-old DLP rear projector unit that amazes me more and more every time it actually manages to switch on. <laughs> <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> he says lol. Um, like our other TVs, it is fed by Raspberry Pi, XBMC, XB, yeah, XBMC box. Um, this is so I can use the laptop to chat in the IRC during the show. Sweet. So if the faux show is live and I'm not in the chat room then that means we're watching it in both okay so here was his messy uh, desk messy desk looks, with an looks about right focus on the garbage can because yeah, he, yeah, he didn't want us he to called notice it that. out right. so. so everybody look at that real quick <laughs> and this was his bathroom setup if you recall <sighs> I, I do recall yes. i envy it's awesome mm-hmm. I remember he is a an electrician of sorts uh well i mean do you like, suppose has, there's hanky panky happening while so we're, okay anyway mo- moving on uh oh <clears throat> There's more text. Wow, he wrote a lot. Okay. The other way we occasionally watch Jupiter Broadcasting is in the bedroom where we have a 32-inch TV fixed right up on the end of the wall. I won't show you that photo because that end of the bedroom is a real mess at the moment. So I'm showing you showing you the tiny end and the tidy, <laughs> the tiny, the tidy end instead. Again, this uses Pi running XBMC. Usually this is just for watching movies and er, bedroom entertainment, but the JB app is installed on the box as well, so it's available when needed. This is ideal for those long winter evenings when people here tend to go to bed early to keep warm. And then he said, I know the leopard print covers and mirrors on the ceiling are all a bit Austin Powers lolly. Oh, yeah, so baby. You, you're, when one you over. I know. Seriously. Um, occasionally I've watched a Jupiter broadcasting show or two on Beth's Galaxy Tab 10.1, which you can see on the bedside table in the photo. This is near perfect XBMC device, unlike the newer Tab 3, which is incompatible with a standard XBMC build, uh. though I'm pretty sure that there is a version now that does work with the Tab 3 on the XDA developer's website. And then sometimes I'll watch the live show on my phone, usually for things like Tech Talk Today, often just using the audio stream. Nice. I also downloaded uh, or download all the MP3 audio files for the techie shows and listen to them on the phone or the music player when I'm traveling. Yeah, but check this out. He says he's currently trying to collect the complete JB back catalog and I know, put it right? on the NAS box, though many of the early shows are hard to find. Yeah, yeah. Uh, find, hard to find a working copy. So, um, But his quest continues. So as you can see, I'm a total JB addict, and I try to watch and listen as much as I possibly can. Keep up the amazing work. Now for the pictures that you've been waiting for. That is his living room. Nice. Isn't Boy, that, that looks awesome? like it, That looks like it could be on a starship in the 24th century. It is century. so cool. Captain's log. I'm sitting in my living room watching the faux show. I'm on my future couch with my future table and my future rug. <laughs> right? I mean, doesn't it look like it's right out of Star Trek? That's yeah. great. Yeah. And then here's his bedroom. Tech talk today, right on. Leopard. How much do you... <laughs> okay, Ange, how much I, do you like... I like leopard. <laughs> yes, she does. I really do. <laughs> Yep, he's got style. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> All right, that's great. Okay. Very good. All right, Andrews. <sighs> that was probably the longest submission. <laughs> All right, next award goes to Lionhead. Lionhead is gets it- the what? Go ahead. Play us some music. Oh yes. Very Check nice. this out. He is a musician. I see a sub yep. amp thingy. Yep. And guitars. Yep. And a mic right there. Yep. And I'm not sure what that white thing is, but it ha- oh. Um, that looks like a flashlight. No. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, it would be really cool if we played music. I should do a hobby. Hobby uh, awards. What I like is I also can tell by the picture that that is the live stream of TechSnap. That's not a recorded uh, playback. So he's how, watching live. How can you tell that? Because Alan and I would never be looking off the screen like that during a live, uh, during the actual recording. Oh, sure you would. Nope, never, ever, <laughs> not possible. That's funny. Not look, okay. how, look how far Alan's uh, face is off to the side there. And look at me. I'm not even looking at the camera. It's not a lamp. I always look at the bright. camera. 
it looks like uh, it actually looks like a vaporizer. <laughs> oh, well, now that would be interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Lionhead, uh, are you? Uh, can you confirm? I don't know if he's around anymore. He was around earlier. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, all right. Yeah, he was around earlier. I, I like I like doing the investigation stuff. <laughs> Next award goes to Stir Fry Kitty. Ooh, nummy. Gets the awesome lower third. All right. Uh, all right. I was watching the faux show when you announced the Where Do You Watch JB Awards when I just reached over to grab my cell phone and snapped this photo of me and my cat watching the faux show. This really is how it is every Sunday. Nice. <laughs> Sorry if you're grossed out by my foot, but this was right after you announced it, so no thinking involved. The lighting wasn't too good either, but I tried to clean it up with GIMP the best I could. Love the show. I'll, be, I'll see you next Sunday. That actually kind of looks a little amazing. A uh, little bit of heaven right there. Just looks super chill, nice yeah. and relaxed. Yeah, and actually the cat. Really nice. And yeah, I love... I love how the phone is used as the IRC client and the right. with the you with know, the TV show the, the video. TV. Yeah, I wouldn't know how many people do that because that actually that if I was watching our stuff, that's probably how I would do it. Oh, you know what? Lionhead is the redheaded, long-haired yeah. dad. Yeah, that was the joke. The previous, yeah. Also, uh, speaking of Tech Talk today, Lionhead's often one of our uh, Mumble contributors ah. on uh, oh, Tech sweet. Talk today. Yeah, so we... he'll probably be there on Wednesday when you join me. Nice. Yeah. Okay, you'll have to say hi. All right, Andrews. Next award goes to. Anthrit gets the simple, effective. Oh, chat room's loving on that past cat, by the way. Look at that. On the what? Oh, yeah, that rocks. There you go. There's you and, boy, that's an older foe. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, so it's like a similar setup to the, you know, the coffee table out front and then the TV in the background. I have that exact keyboard right over there on that computer. And I love, I really like how it's just a mouse pad, a mouse, a keyboard, and a remote. Nice and simple, just clean. Nothing else on there. Yeah. Perfect. Everything else is in the background. <laughs> Can you recognize the desktop environment he's using? Uh, well, it looks like uh, Ubuntu. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Good job, Andrews. Do Woo! you know what? Do you know what Ubuntu calls their desktop environment? Rodent. <laughs> I don't know. Where did you get rodent? I don't know. It's you know hedgehog and. Um, I guess it is zany. Porcupine or no, it's uh, called Unity. Unity. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, very good. <laughs> Next award goes to Bertel. Bertel. Bertel gets the stylish photography. <laughs> oh, oh, however. No, it's pho- photography. Photography. There's a good typo. Uh, Eric and I agree. We're just going to call it rodent from now on. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I feel like I need a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to call it. Yeah, I use rodent. Ubuntu rodent. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not so big on the Amazon product search, but, uh, you know, it's free. Rodent. <laughs> All right, Andrews. All right. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Okay. Since I'm a tech blogger, which explains uh, the stylish photography, by ah, the way. Okay. Because I'm a tech blogger, and I'm pretty sure that this tech blogger, I'm pretty sure he's the one that covered, that he used a, a screenshot of the faux show in one of his, in one or two of his blog posts. Oh, I remember in the past. that. Yeah. Um, so, since I'm a tech blogger who covers Android related goings on, it probably won't be too surprising to hear that I consume copious amounts of Jupyter Broadcasting, primarily using Android devices. Right on. Ever since Google released uh, the Chromecast, I have used a phone or tablet to cast JB shows to my TV. That's awesome. I typically turn to the Jupyter Broadcasting YouTube channel for video, and the experience is superb. I would imagine with Chromecast, using the JB YouTube channel is probably the perfect combination. Mm hmm. While I stick to the video feeds for the faux show and last, I listen to the audio feeds for a couple couple others such as Linux oh. Unplugged and TechSnap using BeyondPod app. Ah. When doing so, I usually have my Bluetooth speaker nearby. BeyondPod also supports Chromecast for both audio and video podcasts, so sometimes I take that approach instead. And of course, occasionally I stick to watching Jupyter Broadcasting on my computer, a Chromebook Pixel running Chrome OS, which I rather happily use as my primary machine, the good old-fashioned way. Hmm. Best, Bertel. P.S. As awesome as JB's lower third is, I'm never there, so I don't have an IRC nick to share. P.S.S. Um, if you, um, and by the way, it's supposed to be PPS after the, after, yeah. after the writing, not, not after the writing, script. not after the writing, writing. Um, okay. If you're reading this on the show, my name is pronounced Bertel. My name tends to get butchered in all manner of ways. You know, one thing that I have learned over the years is you don't actually have to read everything they write. <laughs> Just <so you> know. <laughs> I didn't actually. Okay. Uh, I want to touch on something though. Actually, my, the thing I've really noticed is mm-hmm. remember I was like, oh, I'm one, I wonder, burp, 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 are people going to listen on audio, or are they going to watch on video more? What's going to mm-hmm. be the majority? Herp and derp. Both. And yeah, it really seems like sometimes I want this, and sometimes I want this. Sometimes I'm at my computer. Sometimes I'm on the go. <laughs> what are we? Muricus is Green Lantern. Does Green Lantern know we're doing a photo show know. right now with all those guns? I don't think so. <laughs> Just driving a bunch of pictures of guns. Thank, thank you, Green Lantern. <laughs> nice job, Green Lantern. <laughs> all right, let's get to his awesome uh, picture. You know, yeah, stylish photography. Yeah. 
Oh, look at that Nexus 5 Isn't with Beyond Pod. Isn't that sexy? That's kind of like I want that as a promo marketing picture for I Jupiter know. Broadcasting. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I was really thinking. really good. All right. Uh, oh, and that's the Pixel. Yep. Oh, man, that's sweet looking. <laughs> I like the Android screenshots, too. Yeah. And? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, right? He's yep. just, he's got it. Yeah, he's he got does. an eye. That, yeah, he does. He should come, you know... I think Jupiter Broadcasting needs a blog, and we need people writing for the blog, like Bertel, that could... Our audience, well, yeah. Yeah. A lower third blog? Well, I mean, people from the lower third writing for the blog. Yeah. Because that would be really cool. Yeah. All right. Next award goes to... Raku Dave. He gets the Mega Fan Award. It's so cool, because we're seeing all these people that, you know, watch so many different shows, and it, it's so cool. Okay. So he... <laughs> He watches Jupiter Broadcasting, usually on four of, the, of his five monitors. Um, oh, Q5, look out, man. You got competition. Yeah. He said that usually four out of five monitors have some form of G- JB content on them. Wow, so, respect. Upper left, he's got Jupiter Broadcasting on G+. Now, I don't know how this is possible. What? But that's your post on the left and my post on the right. That's some timing. It is. Yours is Jupiter Broadcasting related. and Mine was getting an activity Ad- ready. Adorable kids related. Yeah. Um, so lower left, of course, IRC. Yeah. Upper right, Jupiter Broadcasting on Twitter, and um, and then Angela. Huh. Well, I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> There's me. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> I also notice a keyboard. Yeah, and a headphone mixer. I would really like to know what software he's playing that into. Yeah. Well, there's Ubuntu, rodent, and, and also I thought I knew that IRC client, but doesn't it doesn't it look like people's nicks have like face icons, pictures? Yeah. Well, that might be like G plus chat or something. Oh, oh, and that's another window. Yeah. Okay, that's what it is. That's a window in the background. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I just schooled you. Well, um, <laughs> and I am seeing sitting from over here. Take so that tech. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Okay. True. All right. All right. Next award goes to Zillin. I think it's Zylin. I like Zillin because of Dylan. Surround sound all around. Oh, Raku Dave also points out oh. uh, Pigeon also in that screenshot. Ah. And I, I, the reason I like to point that out is because mad respect for Pigeon. All right. Well, now that you completely... <laughs> Sorry, Andrews. <laughs> all right. Um, so he watches the faux show on his um, TV which, with 5.1 surround system, Ooh. which is awesome. Nothing greater than playing the faux show on the big screen. Wow. We should mix for 5.1. We should make that like a Tech Talk Today pledge level. Yeah. I was going to say, you know, take it to the left speaker. Right. <laughs> take right. it to the right speaker. Well, I mean, we do do stereo, but imagine a world in 5.1. <laughs> all right. The next word goes to... Fugino. Yeah, for love, non-current commentary. Yeah, like, I love non-current commentary. What? This is great. Explain. Okay. He says, I usually listen to TechSnap and Linux Unplugged on my Ting Nexus 5 with the Beyond Pod app, but faux show, Boom. I have to watch the video version. Hold on. Everybody so far has mentioned Beyond Pod. I know. Pocket Cast. But okay, continue. Okay. Apparently, I need All to right. check out Beyond Pod. I will. I will check it out after this. Haven't been able to make it live since the switch to Sunday, so I watched the faux show on YouTube with the chat room open so I can still comment on it, even if people don't know what I'm talking about. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> and uh, thanks for the great work. So what I love is he was watching it when he took the screenshot, and um, he was in the middle of our last show, and in the chat room, <laughs> I had just posted that, uh, that that day was National Don't Be a Dick Day because of... <laughs> Uh, yeah. What's the Star Trek guy? Uh, Which one? Uh, William Shatner. Will Wheaton. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wesley. We- er, Will Wheaton. Yeah. Um, it was oh, his, yeah, his on his birthday. birthday. Yeah, yeah. His birthday. Yeah. yeah. And so Fugino said, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks for the reminder. Um, I was just about to be a dick, but I'll, <laughs> but I'll hold off until tomorrow. <laughs> That's in the screenshot? Yeah, That's yeah, great. and then it uh, and then he asked, "Is it too late to submit for the faux show?" <laughs> and I said, "Nope, not too late." So he that's submitted. a good screenshot to include right yeah. there. Oh well, in the mail sack. I yeah, mean, the that's very an expensive, expensive mail sack graphic. graphic. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right, Andrew's next award goes to Kyle. Kyle gets the we must visit. We must visit. Seriously, I think I know where Kyle works. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Kyle likes to watch and listen to the show, anything from, from Jupiter Broadcasting. This is the best picture yet. <laughs> he's working his second job in West Seattle. Oh. They have a giant 20-foot projector. So he didn't 
Photoshop himself in there. They have a 20 foot projector. Where, where does he say where he works? No, he did not. But I, I have a feeling I know. Um, he said, "Ah, oh, the knowledge and news and information is huge. You can see the genuine concern in my face. Thank you for making my day enjoyable and satisfying the nerd needs that my wife just doesn't understand. I don't blame her. I don't get her shoe obsession, so we're even." <laughs> so yeah, no, I think yeah, I think I worked with that company uh, at my last job. There it is. Yep. Uh, I I feel like um, I feel like. There are a lot of people in the Seattle region, and by region I just mean like you know within the radius, uh, that have not come to the studio to visit us, and those people are jerks. <laughs> no, wow, <laughs> great, no, no, no I but mean, like, yeah, like uh, and then and then side note before you move on, yeah, how I mean I'm looking at that big screen and I'm you know what I'm thinking? Hmm. Screw the green screen. Let's go do Linux Action Show there mm-hmm. and project our background. Yeah. And do it on location. That would be cool. But I don't know where it is. So yeah. if you know where it is, because is it a place we could record well, a show? I mean, I'll have to. Well, no, I haven't actually seen it, but yeah. I have an idea. Maybe of you where and it is. Kyle could confer. Yeah. I think I might okay. ask him a, a couple questions about that. All right, Andrews. Next award goes to Mike. Holy moly. Mike gets the Holy Moly Award. Seriously. Uh, hey guys, I didn't get to display Jupiter Broadcasting on the side of a building as Chris would have wanted. Mm. <laughs> but here it is in my soon to be complete home theater. I've still got the ceiling um, Ooh, he's got and, an a few, projector. Ooh. and a few places that that light leaks to fix. Oh man. But it is coming along faster than I thought. I missed the summer project awards, so I guess this would have been my submission. Anyway, love the shows. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Mike. Now, so uh, when I hear about projectors, I kind of eye roll. I'm like, yeah, okay, you know. Really? Yeah. No. Well, you not when it, it's this. No. Look at that. Look How, at that. That is a theater. That is a, theater that is a seats, movie theater. Dark curtains. That is a movie theater. Huge screen. Jupiter broadcasting on it. Okay. Now, can I just ask you something? What? Picture it. 2018. <laughs> Here we are in our home. We mount this right above the uh, round table in the kitchen, and we have a huge screen in the living room. Yeah. Would you let well, me do it? I don't know. Yeah, because that that, that that is particularly an awesome setup there. It is really awesome. And Today, then today's projectors are not like, oh my gosh. I almost used this as the teaser image. That's amazing. But because it's not, um, look at the like the purple shadow I on know. the chairs there. I know. That is so cool. And, and you notice how many of these have the past award show in them too? Like yeah. our audience is so clever. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so he, clever. I think he did that because he he would have submitted for that had he known yeah. about it. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So and that's why I didn't use it as a teaser image because I didn't want people to think that. Now I was hold on. Plugging. Hold on. What? Go back. Yeah. Look at. Hold on. Pay attention to the cup holder configuration. Uh-huh. Now advance. Well, this is from an angle. This is from the angle. So he has. It's a circular. Those. It, that is a super sweet setup. Yeah. It's Those awesome. chairs alone are more money than I could spend at all. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like right. those chairs exceed my budget. I Just know. those chairs alone. I know. I know. That is an awesome setup. I like that setup a lot. Is Green Lantern still talking about guns? Yep. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> Next award goes to Higgledy Pig, I think. I think I said that right. Um, no Marmite. No is Marmite? The award. Yeah. Uh, so Higgledy Pig says, I always listen to Tech Talk today whilst. Whilst. Yes, of course. Whilst having breakfast here ah, in England yes, with my proper. epic hard boiled egg, or well, boiled egg, and Marmite soldiers. Now, and a, hold and a cup on. of tea. Do Does you guys m- even have Marmite? Keep no, up the good work. So we do kind of, right? Marmite, hold I on. I don't know what Marmite oh, is. Oh, Angela, yes, you is do. Is it jelly? Yes, it's, oh. it's like orange jelly, right? Marmite, it's like orange oh, jelly. Oh, marmalade? Yeah, I think we call it marmalade. Yeah, am I right, chat room? Anyways, here's what. Uh, th- h- hold on, how do you spell it? Spell it for me. M A R M I T. Yeah. Oh, no E. No. Uh, I'm sorry. There is an E. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a brand name uh, for two similar food spreads. Um, I guess it's not an orange thing. The British version it's of the product is a sticky dark brown food paste with a distinctive powerful flavor, which is extremely extract. salty. Gross. Super gross. That's not orange stuff at all. That's not marmalade. <laughs> That's not orange stuff at all. <laughs> <laughs> Murica. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyways, continuing on. <laughs> so no. no. No, we do not Mar- have that. I'm, I'm <laughs> <No>. never. <laughs> we do not want that either. I thought it was like this sweet sugary orange concoction. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not that at all. And like, there's no sign of toast or anything. So did you just eat it plain? On the, well, okay, hold oh, on. Wait, Marmite soldiers. So soldiers is when you take a piece of bread and you cut it into sticks. So okay. it probably was and on bread. And salty on a hard boiled egg. That makes sense. No, it wasn't. I don't think it was on the hard boiled. But, but he's eating a hard boiled egg, so you're having but something salty. S- an epic boiled egg hey, and marmite. Dude, I'm soldiers. not saying on the egg. I'm just saying with an Mar- egg, you're gonna uh, want something salty, not sweet. I'm mm-hmm. saying as a companion, fl- complimentary flavors. It's an acquired taste. I'm talking about complimentary flavors. Okay. All right. Next award goes to Robert. Robert for Get the faux show Togo. Faux show to go. go. Oh. <laughs> Togo. <laughs> the hell. All right. Ow! Don't poke me so hard. Um, I listen to all your shows while uh. Oh, whole driving. <laughs> While driving to work. I especially like the faux because of the pretty host. hee hey Um, Andrews is lovely, too. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Did you knew that was coming? No, I, well, I mean, I've, I read it before, yes, but I, I forgot that it was coming. Okay. All the best and keep rocking. I actually really like this photo. As simple as it is, it's, it is one of my top favorites. Well, and how real is that? Like, I actually yeah. think the silent majority, that represents the silent majority. You put the phone in the cup holder yep. and you just listen as you drive, yep. right? Yep. Now, it looks like actually they're uh, listening on YouTube. So you get a little video if you want. Yeah. I think a lot of people use YouTube for the mobile app. Yeah. Next award goes to? Pow. Pow. Tech Talk Today Morning Break. You could have just put T3 in there. I could have. Yeah. Nowadays, I listen to Unfilter and Tech Talk Today. I also used to watch How To Linux, but when you merged it into Linux Action Show, I don't follow because it's too long. Sorry. In the pick, I was at work in my lunch break. My name is Pow, and I'm from Barcelona. Hey, Pow. It's interesting. It almost sounds like Pow, yeah. It almost sounds like Pow prefers the shorter shows. That's weird to think about, like how we've started new shows, and mm-hmm. there's people that are listening just to those shows. Because they're shorter. Yeah. Yeah. Well, preferences. Yeah, preferences absolutely. People. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Miguel. Miguel gets the send me your address. I'm sorry, what? That I, I, I'm serious. Send me your address. <laughs> um, this is a picture of the desktop in my bedroom. Just that. The rest is pretty much the same mess. I'm hardly ever at home, and there's no internet connection here, so I download at the office and save it for consumption at home where I just watch it from my bed. All right, I see two game controllers, at least <laughs> one Wi-Fi router. Uh, what else are you seeing there, Ange? Uh, I'm going to read the rest of what he said. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I thank you guys for all the great content. I follow mostly by podcasts on my phone, but last and faux are for uh, video. Keep up the good work. Once again, thanks from Mexico. P.S. I don't like the summer break of SciBite. Um, but yeah, so the send me your address because he, he needs a sticker. He didn't ask for a sticker but that pc needs Needs a jupiter broadcasting sticker so please send me your address and i will send you a uh, a white sticker to to put on that to rock it yeah yeah sidebite is on summer break and that is not heather's mistake or fault at all that is my fault just because uh in the summer times when it's light out i like to get home and see the family yeah all right andrews next award goes to fell or F E L. I'm not sure. It's all capitalized. So I feel um, like Fell's probably it. All right. So please share. This is another one where he has done something magical that needs to be shared if if you're okay with that. My so. body is ready. Is it a lot of text? Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm prepared. Um, I love listening to Jupiter broadcasting shows at work when mucking around at home or when traveling. At some point, however, I was fed up with having to remember audio positions and keep track of what shows I already listened to manually. So I wrote a little HTML5 web application that synchronizes that information across stationary and what? mobile devices. What? Right? What? I know, right? Okay. Basically, a small shell script grabs selected AUG files from JB's RSS feeds and makes them available in the app. Then I can log from log in from any web browser and stream them while um, while data Amazing. about audio position and whether the stream was completed or not is stored in an SQLite database. SQLite database. And this is this is why I make the AUG feeds available, even though a, such a a tiny, 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 tiny fraction of you actually take advantage of the AUG. Those of you that do take advantage of the AUG, I mean, like... Inverlanche says HTML5 solves everything, including world peace. <laughs> we can code, like, we are constantly, like, should we even bother making the AUG versions of our shows? Because it's in the hundreds of people who download those. Mm-hmm. In some shows, it's in the thousands. But in most shows, it's in the hundreds. But this, like, like for the people that who appreciate the AUG, like, you can see, yeah. like, he really appreciates it. Yeah. 
Um, I am by no means a programmer, and I'm sure there are millions of apps out there that does the same thing, but I really enjoy experimenting with PHP, HTML5, jQuery, and shell scripts, and it feels really nice to have my own little app basically dedicated to Jupyter Broadcasting that listening. That is awesome. I mainly listen to Last and TechSnap, but obviously I'll have to tune in on Sunday to see if any fellow listeners have, have come up with any of their own contraptions. Thanks to everyone involved in the Jupyter Broadcasting Network. Its productions are humorous, interesting, and I learn so much. <laughs> Cheers from Thomas. Right on, Thomas. Sweden. That's and from Sweden too. And about. here's his picture. Ta-da! The the uh the That's his app on the right there? Yeah, Fellcast. <laughs> F E L cast. Yeah. I what? feel like the previous guy's app and this guy's app could be merged into one amazing Jupiter broadcasting right? app. That people could deploy on their own home servers. Yep. Is this so song? He needs to put this right on. He's right there. He says uh, MP3 is is not. Well, I think he meant not compatible. Og will work too. <coughs> yeah, that's or the reason I do yeah. Og is for you know all the other reasons. But uh, if this is on yeah. GitHub. He said he's going to clean it up first, and then yep. That would be really cool. That is awesome. All right, Andrews. Next. Oh, to, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Here's a bigger. <laughs> of course, I I meant. I meant I to really like that. Yeah, it's cool. And the fact that it syncs the time, like it. That's now the one change, if like if I was going to be crazy picky, that uh -huh. I would make is, it would be really awesome if it could read the ID three tags and title the episodes appropriately. Now the one thing that the Augs don't have that the MP three versions have is the album art. That would also be really awesome to see the album art because at least for Unfilter, I I hand make every episode's album art, and yep. so it's kind of cool to see that showing up. But that even without the album art, just with the file names, is really cool. Next award goes to Gadolith. I think I said that right. How would you say that? Uh, you no, know, that's how I would say that. Uh, well, except for that, it looks more like Leth at the end, like almost like Batleth. Gat that's what I said. Gatleth. I said Gadolith. All right, I'd take yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Take it. All right, gets the interesting ratio okay. award. All right. Check out that monitor. Ooh. My name is Lucas, and this is how I watch Jupiter Broadcasting in general. I am a big fan of nearly every show. Um, yes, the left screen has a screen resolution of 2560 by 1080 by a ratio of 21 to 9, and I love it. That's gorgeous. So there is Gadolith from Germany. And what? a great episode of Tech Talk Today on the screen right? there. Right? Yep, yes. and the doppelgangers, which I think is funny because, yeah, a lot of doppelganger. Now, you might not remember, but that is the episode. I do remember. That was last week. That was the episode you were on. Of Tech Talk. Oh. oh, yeah? yeah? Sweet. Yeah. No, yeah. I didn't remember. No, I see that with them. Yeah. Uh, woo. Uh, woo. All right. That's cool, though. Boy. Uh, Gadaleth, can you click that link? Yeah, I can click a link. Yeah. He, what do you got? He said, right now. Right. Oh, this is him. Oh, look at that. That's us looking at. <laughs> that's funny. That's awesome. <laughs> looking at. There's, uh, some, there's some faux inception Fu right Fu there. Yeah, Fujino's yeah. <laughs> submission. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's, now, look at this. How about this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways. <laughs> okay. Next award goes to? Next award goes to Skooky Sprite. Skooky Sprite. He gets the Awesome Awkward Award. All right, I'll Which take it. I think could apply to like pretty much anything he does because of how much whiskey he consumes. <laughs> well. Ta-da! He took this from last week's episode. Right on, When buddy. I happened to have the Awkward Boners image up, I think. Either that or actually, I think he might have gone... To Facebook to find it to do it. I don't know. I don't know. Either. No, you were showing it from. F well, I'm not sure. Either way, there's an awkward boner yes. involved in my epic one of my face palm. One of my most epic on air face palms of all time. Yes, hundred percent legitimate Seriously. face palm. Yep. Uh, and and my reaction was great too. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you were loving that awkward <laughs> it was, boner. I, I, like it's just all of a sudden out of nowhere. <laughs> you were like, if you haven't seen that, you really need to go look up <laughs> awkward boners. Faux show awkward boners. Yeah. I want I want that to be trending on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> yeah, hashtag awkward bonus. Yeah. Oh, man. It was. It was one of the best moments ever. Yeah, so all right. Thank you. Thank you Very for reminding nice. us about Very that. Nice, yes. right. Next award goes to? Low Fatty. This is seriously, this is one of the- Seriously one of, epic. One of the really good, yeah, seriously epic awards. I'm ready. Check that out. All right, I'm Riding already the bike. happy. I'm already Isn't happy. that great? Okay. Yes. This is my way of, joy, of enjoying Jupiter Broadcasting content. I have an eight kilometer one way kilometer. Right? One way bike commute, which takes me about 45 minutes per ride. This is my perfect time to listen to Jupiter Broadcasting Podcast. Absolutely. While enjoying the pretty landscape of my region in Fransonia, Germany. Um, I stumbled across Ooh. Jupiter Broadcasting because of the Linux Action Show and ended up listening to pretty much all of your shows. Meanwhile, JB is producing more content than I can digest. <laughs> we're, we're finding that to be the case for a lot of people. Yes. Um, 
So I needed to take I needed to take make hard decisions. Now I am primarily focusing on Unfilter. Chris is doing a great job on the show. Last Lup and Tech Talk today. Sorry, Angela. I'm only a random faux show listener. That's okay. <laughs> Keep up the great work. Low fatty. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I'm being oh uh, Bronwyn. What? What? It's Franconia. Oh, she's helping you. Franconia. Just think of it as like help a little bit. Yeah. Lower now, third's always right. How come uh, Keller CW is all of a sudden busting in with the Instagram? Is this something we need to be concerned about? I found about? it already. No, no, Okay, no. you've got to handle yeah, it. Yeah, I've you got, got it. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's, right. it's coming. All right, Andrews, next award goes to. You can keep that up, though. Okay. Um, Winter 27 gets the Race the Goat Last Foe. Wait a minute, what? Yeah, award. Race the Goat Last Foe. Now, th- this is really cool. He has a three monitor setup, not a six monitor. Oh this is, my goodness! This is two pictures, but he's got like raise the sun on three monitors. The, well, the he's got the best last in the upper left. He's got goat herders, goats live website awesome. in the center, and foe on and foe on the right. A really old foe from March. Can we do race the sun versus the United again? States of America? Oh my gosh! So uh, he said, "Hello, just thought I'd share my setup with you. You guys also got me hooked on race the sun, and I gotta say, iFinity with a wireless 360 controller is definitely the way to go. Great shows, keep it up. Um, any chance of getting a sticker sometime? Yes, email me your address." Angela Jupiter Broadcasting. Well, he com. knows. He submitted. Oh, good point. <laughs> just just reply to my email for, to you this morning. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do the job, too. Yeah. But for those of you who didn't submit, you can email her. Angela yeah. Jupiter Broadcasting. Should we do com. Race the Sun next week? Let's do it. All right. We can do it. We'll do Race the Sun next week. Okay. All right. Uh, so awesome submission. Sorry to get you hooked on a game. <laughs> really awesome for you to have uh, goat, uh, Goats Live there. That That's really awesome. I mean, I, I take Race the Sun really seriously, so... I know you do. <laughs> okay. All right, okay. All right. Next award, go to. You know, I'm not sure if that X is supposed to be there after David. Um, Hold on a second. Davix? Davidix? No, I don't think the X is supposed to be there. I think the award goes to David. No, for hold on. Maybe the, X, maybe the X stands for, for Extreme. For JB on the go. So David Extreme writes... <laughs> So this is me in the Stockholm Metro listening to Tech Talk today on the Rock Rockbox SanDisk Fuse. Yeah, buddy. Last and Lup, I try to watch live when I can on the couch on my media PC. I work as a cook, so I miss a, miss it a lot since it's during the dinner time here, sort of. When I work, I download the OG through G Potter. Look, another OG view yep. listener. Yep. Totally. Huh. And you know oh, what? There's I, a di- it is David X. Okay, good. I thought that maybe I typoed it. Good. No, no, no. no. In fact, <laughs> negative in the freedom dimension. Dimension. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There we go. Thank you so much for submitting. All right, Andrews. Next award goes to Mike gets the Puppy Linux Award. Oh, Q5. Listen up. And he's holding a puppy while watching the oh. action show. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got me. Yeah. I'm, pre- <laughs> I'm pretty good. My God. That was awesome. Okay. So my name is Mike, and this is how <laughs> my puppy Oliver and I watched the Jupiter Broadcasting shows. We were watching last, and this one uh, bit I <laughs> watched. Q5 says that's a bit of a bait and switch. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to pretty much every show. Keep up the great work. Yeah, that was... <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty. I you know I'm pretty clever. I'm pretty clever when it comes to I I know my Linux. It was all planned ahead of time, ladies Whoa. and gentlemen. I know my Linux, and then something. <laughs> and then you then you totally Linuxed out. <laughs> all right, it's cool. It's okay, cool. I got it back. Okay. Andrews, the next award goes to Steve. Steve JB, all the things. All right. All right, Steve from Manchester. He's in the UK. He said, I'm a recent convert to all things Jupiter Broadcasting and usually get my fix of the faux show at the fantastic Manchester Central Library. Just moved house and I'm waiting desperately for broadband to be collected. Um, the picture is me uh, is of me in one of the quiet areas of the library. Loving the shows. Keep up the good work from all of us back in the old country. It's so awesome. Again, somebody uh, a more recent finder of Jupiter Broadcasting. I love that you guys are, f- are loving all of our shows. It's epic. Yeah, I totally, yeah. Icarus, that couldn't be more appropriate. I accidentally the whole thing. Um, uh, let's see. Is there any chat back functionality or history of this channel somewhere? Um, I, I don't know. And I am here on my own. <laughs> I don't want to move forward. Because Chris is going potty, I think. <laughs> so talk to me, people. <laughs> I think we have like 10 more slides. Okay. 
He told me to keep going from the from the from the potty there. So okay, little Guff gets the next award, and he gets the what's faux dinner. <laughs> That's a, a classic play on the word faux. Okay, please find attached my entry to the award show this month. The first is my gaming rig, and the second is the tablet in the kitchen for when I'm burning dinner. <laughs> Which is awesome. So I love the three monitors. Faux show on three monitors yes. is, is really cool. Yeah, that is. When it's split across the screens like that. Although it looks like uh, you might be missing the part in my hair. So <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yep. Yeah, I went. I went. Uh, I went to play race the sun. I'm back now. <laughs> um. So <laughs> also a little tech snap on that third screen too. Well, I like. Um. I don't know what kind of device. What kind of holder that is for his tablet but it's really awesome yeah it is right on top of the microwave too i wonder if that messed with his wi-fi at all yeah i don't know yeah huh but yeah and the, oh i guess it's well there's a monitor there yeah, too absolutely but, yep nice all, all right, right andrew's next award goes to eric eric is this producer eric this is producer eric producer eric he named his own award <laughs> the only thing he put in his email was fantastic. i was so like it. okay <laughs> why not right there it is <laughs> oh. I still don't know what the rest of your shirt says. I think it says Craigslist. Well, no, there's something underneath it. Uh, you can uh, you can you can hire Eric by going to Craigslist. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. No. I don't think he advertises there. <laughs> hey, you know that's a loud shirt I wore. Look how loud that shirt is in the background. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a good one. Yeah, it is. You found that for me. I know. I Next find award all your goes to. Is that me? He he gets the open field for the win. What do you think this is? Hold on. Open field. I'm going to say it is he's he's at like a sporting event watching Jupiter broadcast. Hmm. Nope. He's on a tractor. Oh, nice. Bailing hay. Not what I was thinking, but awesome, love it right? that much more. Yep. Thought I'd like I thought I'd like to share the Look most common way I listen to Kit's uh, kitten in Kentucky says it almost got it. Uh, Kitsune uh, Kitty. Right. Whatever. I bet uh, he watches in a cow pasture. Yep. That's pretty close. Pretty close. Um Let's see, as of late, which is in the tractor, in audio form, uh, without which I would have died of boredom a long time ago. Oh, no kidding, right? Can yeah. you imagine doing that job without no. some kind of audio in your ears? No, but I and I do not, I mean, maybe once I was there, it would I would not feel this way, but at the same time, I think to myself, between podcasts and audiobooks, it almost also sounds like the best job in the world. <laughs> All right. Also, I have to give a plug to VLC for Android. Great for listening to oh, and okay. watching podcasts. Yeah. I can listen to the videos in audio form or enjoy the high, high quality of VLC for video, and it sorts large numbers of mm -hmm. files starting with the same characters into groups. Nice. So, hello from stupidly hot Alberta. Uh, we have family up in <laughs> Is Alberta. Is that me? Interesting. We have family who has farmland up in Alberta. Is <laughs> that me? Very cool. Yeah. Next award goes to oh, wait, Andrews. Wait, No, we got more. This is his plug for VLC. Oh, nice. Look so at there. There it is. With the uh, It's all Jupiter episodes. Broadcasting. Yeah. Yep. Uh, VLC for Android does look really nice. That's a good way to go. Well done, is that me? All right, Andrews. Next award goes to... Keller CW78. All right. He gets the Sleeping Around Award. What? Now, I told him in a faux show first last night, I told him what his award title was before the show. He knew last night. That and is I, a faux show first. I sent him a copy of his award so that he could then take a picture. He does a sel he does selfies uh -huh. on Instagram. Uh -huh. Well, he went ahead and did that selfie last night, but he took it one step further. Uh huh. What's that he's got there? Is that a Coda Radio shirt he's got there, Inch? Or is that an Unfilter shirt? This, what is it that? It looks like Unfilter, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that's the Unfilter 100 shirt. So, and then is that a baby bump, Inch? Yeah, yeah. He's a happy little slutty vegan <laughs> for faux show. Now accepting Bitcoin <laughs> for on. child support. Hold on. So, Hashtag a happy little slutty vegan. That's what I just said. Hashtag faux show. <laughs> 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 okay, so here's why he gets the sleeping around award. He said, there are three main ways that I keep up with Jupiter Broadcasting. Working seven days a week between two jobs and oh, soon a boy. third oh, makes it difficult, but I manage. And he's here right now. And he had time to get Prego. <laughs> Those rare occasions when when I can be at home for a live show, I have an i3 window manager layout on my nice. laptop for multitasking while watching. I can chat in the IRC, talk on Mumble, tweet, etc. from one screen since I'm not as lucky uh, to have a setup like Q5Sys. <laughs> <laughs> I love Q5Sys. His That's setup is world famous bus. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I truly get to relax and I'm not live, um, I take the crew to bed with me. <laughs> 
and watch the shows on my Roku. <laughs> Roku. Hey-o. Working all the time, my bed just seems to get more and more comfortable. I hope you're not offended that I sometimes find myself sleeping with all of you. <laughs> no, I think that's great. <laughs> Only to wake up and find I'm missing something cool and rewind. <laughs> In the car on those rare non-work commute excursions, Pocket Cast has been good to me. I can cache all my podcasts over the home Wi-Fi, yeah. so I am not overloading my team data and head out with uh, with the headphones or connect with the car's Bluetooth. Pocket Cast, I'm, buddy. I'm hoping to start running again, and this will be an excellent companion. Keep up all the great Yes. Yeah, in fact, Tech Talk Today has been specially engineered just for the length of your run. If you don't run as long as Tech Talk Today, Tech Talk Today runs, then you have failed. If you can out, <laughs> if you outrun Chris, then you win. Tech Talk Today is your running companion. <laughs> so I don't know whose baby it is. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you've been sleeping with us all, though. Here's yeah, <laughs> all of us. We're all guilty. <laughs> um, here's a screenshot that he sent in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I like that Twitter client. Yeah. Um, and so, and he took that screenshot last night. Actually, he was one of the late submitters. And then here's. Here's how he sleeps with us. <laughs> nice. <laughs> From his bed. Very nice. Looks comfy, really. Yeah. And look at those pants, too. Those look like <laughs> super comfy pants, don't they? I wonder if he's they're wearing jeans. those. If I was, oh, and they look like sweats. Oh, I'd I think they're jeans. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Next award goes to Tyler. Gets the oh so clean award. Oh. I've seen this desk set up in like three different of his places, I think. Three, yeah. Um, you asked where I watched JB. Um, well, right here is where it is, my desktop. Sadly, I don't have a Jupiter Broadcasting show open on this picture. However, if you look closely on the right monitor, there is a picture of Eric helping set up the Jupiter Broadcasting studio. Ah, <laughs> yes. I see so, the uh, soundproofing right there. Yep. So this was a picture from a while ago, and that was the Jupiter Broadcasting Instagram, which you can follow if you go to Instagram for, uh, dot com forward slash Jupiter Broadcasting. Hold on. Do I need to put an HTTP colon slash slash in there? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> you, you like really sort of like spelled that one out. <laughs> Sorry. Continue on with Tyler's Turd. award. <laughs> That's Tyler's award. Oh, very nice, Tyler. But look, I mean, look how clean his desk is. Well, for now. I don't know if you now. recall, but he used to have a desk in like a really blue wall and yeah. a and a, sh- a shelf. This helps me. Now I know when Tyler's talking to us on Linux Unplugged, I kind of know what his setup looks like a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next award goes to? Next award goes to Chronic Fireworks. He gets... For the kitty. Like, All right. For the kitty. All right. Well, uh, except look at it's that for cat. The kitty. So, this is his uh, cat, Piccolo. And this is how he watches Jupiter Broadcasting. Piccolo? Oh, that makes me want a cat. Yeah. What's well, that yeah, silver thing on the cat. left? That's what I want to know about. Silver thing? Yeah, look at that. Oh, that? Does that look like an audio interface to I don't know. Angela, if you were to use your years of technical experience, would you. <laughs> No? Okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Let me um, switch to email here because okay. All right. we have- a, is, is this a thing? We have a couple other submissions. Uh, oh, wait, is this a email. mail sack thing? Because I, I do have- Are you ready for mail sack? Yes. Because I do have- uh, Yes. We I don't know if you knew the, this. Yes. But I contacted uh, one of the best designers in the industry, and even to make the phone call, it cost us a million dollars, but we ended up with an incredible, amazing faux show- <laughs> Mail sack. Mail sack. Here's the mail sack, everybody. Angela, jupiterbroadcasting.com. Jupiterbroadcasting.com slash contact mail sack. All right. Don't go to my screen yet. All um, right. Well, I won't go to your screen until you tell me to because, you know, it's mail sack time, Andrews. Okay. So. Uh, yes, Andrews. Let me lower. The oh, I showed your screen. Oh, that's okay. Go oh, ahead. Okay. All right. All right okay. So <laughs> this is Merlin's submission. Merlin? Yeah. I think Merlin might be. I can't remember Merlin's uh, IRC, Nick. I'm sorry. Oh, it's an external Western Digital Drive. Hold on. That silver thing on the side. Yeah. Everybody stop. Back up. I have been notified by the chat room. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that three separate times. It <laughs> is an external hard drive. <laughs> we can move on now. All right. Um, okay. So <laughs> he said, sorry about the shoe, shoe shining stuff, but we are in the background. Hold on. It actually. You, oh, yeah. That saw, was Murphy. Oh, yeah. I see Murphy. It. You see what? Shoe sin- shoe sin- shoe shoe stuff. Oh oh yeah yeah okay okay. Yeah, this is how he watches. Sorry, I was distracted by that multifunction printer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right, Andrew. That got? was the first mail sack. So okay, the, next mail sack. These people didn't uh, submit in time. Just <laughs> okay, and then this is from Israel. Oh, like a person named Israel. No, I. I yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the audio. 
right? Yeah. Which this little, is the little, silent majority. Linux as you unplugged. Said. Yeah. And then desktop, and I don't know what the third one is. Another desktop, probably work. I wonder if that's one of those. How just, awesome is that? That might be the Asus monitor I just got. Yeah. Look how sweet that is on its side like that. That's really nice. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool setup. Very nice. I like those speakers too. Yeah, the I wonder whole thing which one's working, which one's home. That must be. Well, I don't know. Yeah, well, it must be work. That's work because you got the. Is that the, the picture of the wife there? Let me look at that. Yeah. Is that Alan Probably. and I right next to the wife? Yep. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. That's um, great. Those are last minute submissions. Those are last minute submissions. Yep. Right. That I could not get into the document. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> let me see if I can get back to here. Yep. There you go. All Look right. at you using Linux uh, like a pro. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about next month's award show. Now, Chris had suggested... Something super cool. Really amazing. No. Um, and I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I want you to do. <laughs> On September 7th, pretend like I'm going to open a faux company. What? What would my faux company sell or produce? Okay, oh, hold on. So you're going to start Angela's faux business? Yeah. So this is you starting the business? With the help of my lower third. Okay, so you and the lower third are going into business to create something. Yes, so make up your own product or concept using the word faux. Okay, so it like it has to have faux in the product name. Yeah. Okay. It should. Okay. Yeah. So like How do um, they do the pictures for this? Uh well, it could be anything. Like so Google image it. Like okay, go to open up Google real quick. Okay. The Google Images or just Googs? Yeah, and it's not a real company. Googs or Google Images? Google Images. All right, images.google.com. All right. You know also, did you know Bing has uh images? All right. Uh All right. so <laughs> type F O A F O A S T S T E R E R and enter. Okay, Foster? Yeah. Oh. Click on that first image. So this is this is kind of like what I, you know that that it's it's F O A, but so you could do F A U X. This is like a toaster. toaster. That's like a, a phone dock. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So something like that. So you might be able to find a real picture, but uh, it can be conceptual. It could be real. It could be. It could just be a tagline. You know, like like one of the awards was what's faux dinner. <laughs> you know, so just a clever way to incorporate. Oh my faux gosh! Into Hold on, a faux meal would be great. Like a food product would be amazing. Yeah, or a sexy product. <laughs> yeah, some uh, or like fondue, fondue, fondue. Angela Jupiter Broadcasting dot com ah. with your IRC Nick Twitter handle or name you like to go by mm -hmm. a picture if you've got it and a description. Sell us on this product, yep, and we'll sell it to the audience. September seventh, twenty fourteen is the next Faux Show Awards. Angela Jupiter Broadcasting dot com. Yep, and you can even uh, people are you know like faux company. It's not a real business. If you want to make a faux logo, that would be fine too. Whatever. Whatever goes. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. A faux penny. Keller78 says, how about a vegan faux dinner meal? Sure. I would love yeah. to hear what that would be. Yeah, absolutely. Like, what do you got? What do you got? Yeah. Like, um, yeah. Send it in. Perfect. AngelaJupiterBroadcasting.com. Yeah. So this All one's right, a little, Angela. it's a little weird and complicated. And I, I'm not sure if I'll get a lot of submissions. If I don't in the next two weeks, then I'll, I'll switch kind of to yours and we'll do both. Remember, remember that one where we did, uh, money and punch awards like no what would you do with a bunch of money and and who would you punch oh <laughs> yeah yeah it was a great it was a combination award show it was, it was we could do that but I, awesome. I think there's actually some pretty fun faux products plus then we could just save mine for a whole another month down the road yeah. too so yeah. um okay all right that is it for this episode of the faux show we'll see you next week race the sun did you enjoy this photo show? Well, guess what? You can catch more at jupiterbroadcasting.com and subscribe to the weekly RSS feed. It always reminds Makes me. Makes it. It's, it there's a, there's a, a, whenever I'm creating a segment, I have mm -hmm. like a guiding philosophy that I follow, and that is that the majority of the audience is smarter than I am. And I think, uh, I think like a lot of people make that mistake and they assume their audience is a bunch of all noobs, all rookies, and so they talk down to them. Mm. So the trick is to find a way to talk to the noobs but not talk down to the to the experts. And when we do these award shows, what it shows me is they're not just smarter than me technically, but they're also like better 
there are better people. Handyman. They're better. Yeah, they're they're better at, at life than I am. Like, <laughs> right? right? Like, yeah. Yeah, which yeah. is just so impressive. Like, wow, yeah. there's people that are better mean. than me. Listen to my shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like, um, in particular, uh, with Unfilter, and you have professors that are using the clips yeah, that you've grabbed. Right. The college professors yeah. and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is really cool. I suck more at life, says Hawkins the <laughs> Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I suck. Well, thank more. you. Yeah. No, I suck. I suck the most. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> wow. <laughs> can, I, can I talk about the Oculus VR for a second? Changes everything. No. If you are the type of person who gets addicted to MMOs or video games, do not get an Oculus Rift. Just do yourself a life favor. This is real talk here. Don't get an Oculus Rift. Just don't do it. Like, like, if you're like, man, I'm really sleepy and I could use a good energy high, I think Coke might be the way to go. My advice would be don't do it. Okay. So when it comes to the Oculus Rift, my advice is don't do it. There are words in this presentation. Okay? Uh, there's going to be some reading. But it's great reading. Okay. Oh, all right. Face. <laughs> Why does he find everything funny? Because <laughs> you're adorable and I can't help it. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you want to check? No, it's it's okay. <clears throat> I already knew before I even asked. You. I just like asking. Sunday, you. August third, and then having a conversation about how horrible the lights are. It is one of my favorite things. Oh, to I wish these sleeves were a little longer. I I sometimes just like complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm I, just I feel like I'm pretty good at it too, which is so I, I'm more inclined to do it. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. What? All right. 